ChatGPT versus Claude, which is the best for MCP servers? So ChatGPT have just released a new update inside their Teams model that allows you to integrate MCP. So for example, if you go to connectors over here, then you can click on create. And then inside here, you can insert your MCP server URL. You could create a custom one and then insert it directly into ChatGPT directly right here, right? And today we're going to be comparing which one performs the best when it comes to outputs, when it comes to convenience, and also which one gives you the best results side by side versus Claude, right? If you, the one thing that I would say with ChatGPT, if we just get straight into the comparison here, is that if you have a look in the connectors and the MCPs that we've connected, so for example, like Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Drive, you can only actually use these inside the deep research mode, right? And deep research inside ChatGPT, it usually takes about, I would say, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get back to you. Now, the responses that you get are awesome, but at the same time, who wants to be waiting 45 minutes every time that they get a response from MCP servers, right? So for example, I said, check my latest invoices on PayPal, give me the key financial stats from the last 12 months. It goes off, asks us a few questions, and then it, you can see here, it took 30 minutes to get back to us. Now, it does look through a bunch of invoices and all the activity, it checks through my Gmail as well, which is great. But at the same time, it's a bit of a nightmare because, you know, who wants to be waiting that long for a response from an MCP server, right? That's literally like on 50, it's on dial-up Wi-Fi, right? Whereas, for example, if we go inside Claude here, we can actually use MCPs inside the normal version of Claude and we don't need to mess around here. So for example, I've got my PayPal invoices right here, ready to go. If we go inside the chat and then we're like, okay, we'll do the same thing. So we'll say, okay, check my latest invoices on PayPal. Give me the last key transactions, most important highlights, etc. Should start working its magic using the MCP. We just have to allow it. So I'm going to click on allow always. It's going to start looking through here. Now it's going to start working the transactions and it's not messing around here, right? It's literally gone through straight off the bat into the data analysis. And that's going to take a lot less time than 30 minutes to get the response, right? So in terms of speed, if you compare ChatGPT side by side versus Claude, I would say that ChatGPT is winning by a long way when it comes to MCP servers. The other thing I would say here is that if you're optimizing for convenience as well, I would say that Claude is probably easier, right? So the way that you can set up MCPs inside Claude, if we go over to our settings down here, we're then going to go to integrations and inside integrations, we can add a new integration, right? So for example, if we want to add a new MCP server from Zapier, so all the links and all the notes from today, by the way, in the inside the AI Success Lab, link in the comments and description is completely free as a community. And inside here, we're going to add a tool. So I'm going to click on tool, and then I'll click on connect and I'll just set up a new server from scratch actually. So we'll click on MCP client as Claude, name Claude MCP server, create MCP server. Then we are going to click on connect and we'll copy that URL of the MCP server. All right. You can see how quick and easy it is to set this stuff up. So if we type in the MCP server URL, we'll type in the name Zapier, boom, add. We may need to delete the old one. And there we go. All right, that's connected. So if we click on connect now, we can go through to Zapier. That's integrated nicely. And now we have Zapier as an MCP server set up inside Claude, right? It's connected, no mess around there, right? Straight off the bat. Now, if we go to a new chat and we click on the settings from here, we are going to click on Zapier. We've got the tools added right here and we can just get straight into using this, right? Whereas, for example, if we go inside ChatGPT and we want to use exactly the same integration, right? So we'll go to connectors. We're going to click on create and then we'll go inside Zapier. We'll create a new MCP server for ChatGPT and I'll just click on other to make it easier. We'll click on connect, copy the URL, go into ChatGPT, add that MCP server URL and then we should be good, all right? Now, I'm gonna stick with OAuth authentication, see if that works. And that is not working, right? So you can see here, we've actually got an error. It just gives us a blank page. I'm just gonna check the site settings, allow redirects. Maybe that's why it's not working. 
Yeah, so we've allowed pop up and redirect, so it shouldn't be any issues, but it's not working. And if we go back to chat GPT now, settings, go inside here, connectors, and that Zapier integration has just disappeared, right? We just spent ages setting up. So it's really buggy as well when you're setting this stuff up. Not easy at all. It just, it seems like it's been added, but it's not that great. So just to recap here, number one, you can only seem to use MCPs inside ChatGPT if you're using deep research. And number two, it doesn't seem that easy to integrate custom MCPs like, for example, Zapier. I'm just going to try it again. And I'll try without OAuth, with no authentication. So if we go back inside connectors here, and we'll try adding MCP again, but without OAuth authentication. So I'll change that to no authentication. I trust. Then we'll paste in the RO again. All right. Put test. See if that works. And then it says, this MCP server violates our guidelines. If we click on learn more, it doesn't really tell us why it violates the guidelines. And it just seems like a lot of the MCP servers that you would want to connect with ChatGPT or with Zapier are just not working at all. Tam Ogana says, love your content. Just wondering if I can make money using AI without spending anything. Absolutely. There's plenty of options out there, but you can do services for other people. If you do AI automation services for other people, like for example, setting up MCP servers, like companies will pay you good money for this, right? Nobody understands how to do this stuff. If you're watching this channel, you're probably in the top 1%. And anything that I show you, whether it's inside YouTube, whether it's inside the AI Success Lab, whether it's inside the AI Profit Boardroom, all of these things companies will pay you good money for because it's super powerful and nobody knows how to do it yet. So you can make money for free with AI without paying. And I've shown you exactly how. So let's keep going now. What I also want to check is how much are we paying for this? So I needed a team account to actually set up custom MCPs. I think that is, if I'm not mistaken, $60 per month. Yeah. Uh, so basically you have to pay for ChatGPT for two or more users and that's $30 per month per user. So it's $60 per month, right? Whereas if you use Claude, you can actually use the pro plan. I'm on the pro plan. You can see here, I'm not on the max package or anything like that. And inside the pro plan, you can use MCPs, right? And the pro plan is only, I think, 20, 20 pounds a month, $20 a month, something like that. So it's actually cheaper than ChatGPT by quite a long way. And then also if we open up the Claude desktop here, you get a lot more freedom with MCP servers, right? So for example, if we go inside here, we're going to go to Claude settings, developer settings, and then you can see I've got these three MCP servers running in the background on Claude, right? One of them is Apple script, which can actually check files locally. One of them is browser and the other one is file system, right? Now, what does that mean? That means, for example, I can get Claude connected to my laptop and also to my browser to do different actions. And that is way more powerful than the MCPs that you typically get inside ChatGPT. So as an example of this, if we go inside Claude here and we're like, okay, what's my battery percentage? We'll just make sure we have the MCPs enabled and then we'll hit enter. And then it's okay. I can help you check your battery percentage. Here's what we're going to do. Your battery is hundred percent fully charged, blah, blah, blah. Basically it's using the Apple script MCP to check the battery percentage on my laptop and then give me the data back. That is really good because now, you know, you can use this for checking files, for searching through your laptop. You don't have to use the finder or the documents or the file folders, etc. You can just get information from your laptop within Claude directly. Now, here's another thing as well. And these are two things that you can't do inside ChatGPT's MCP. So if we go over here, and the reason that ChatGPT don't allow this is because it's against the guidelines like you can see with the Zapier MCP. So if we close this up right now, and let's say, for example, you've got a tab open. I'm just going to allow the browser MCP extension to connect like you can see. And then I'm going to go inside Claude on the left-hand side and I'll say to Claude using browser MCP, navigate to apple.com. Just as a basic example to show you how this MCP works. So you can see it's now taking control of my browser over here. And in a really quick way, it navigates to the website that I want, right? 
Now that's just an example use case of how you could, for example, get it to post on social media for you. You could get it to send emails for you. You could get it to navigate the web and scrape data for you, etc. in the background whilst you're doing other stuff. And you just don't have that freedom with the MCPs inside ChatGPT. And so if there's a choice between ChatGPT or Claude right now, 100% I'm going to go with Claude as long as you know how to use it. And that's the key, really. It's cheaper, it's faster, it's easier, it integrates with more stuff. And also you can use it locally with Claude desktop. And then you've got all these MCPs that link to your laptop and your browser, right? Which is crazy, crazy. You can basically turn Claude into an AI super agent and you can use those MCPs for free. They don't cost you anything. The only thing you're paying for is a pro plan, which is $20 a month. So if you want to get all the notes from today, feel free to get that inside the AI success lab. You can see, for example, all the notes. We've got loads of different resources and courses as well with links inside here to all these different AI super agent courses and MCP agents courses. You can also get the video notes from today. And also if you want to learn how to set up MCPs directly inside ChatGPT, I've got a full tutorial on it right here with all the video notes as well. And we pretty much update all the learnings inside the AI success lab, which is completely free. Link in the comments description for you every single day. It's a community of 9,400 members. And also we're just giving away new free trainings every single day. It's crazy stuff. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you want to connect with me, if you want to learn about AI, if you want like the best community on the planet for AI because it's active, it's always showing you new updates like I do on my YouTube channel. It gives you a custom video each week as well. So we actually make a custom made video for you each week based on what people want to see us build. And you can comment on that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description. So this community is basically community focused on serious entrepreneurs. There's 614 members in there. You also get three coaching calls per week. So you can jump on these weekly coaching calls. They get recorded if you can't watch them back. It also comes with all my best trainings on like AI agents, workflows, social media automations, SAPs, etc. A crash course on how we scaled our business, $300,000 a month and over in revenue as well. And also, if you post a question inside here, we'll usually get back to you like really quickly, right? So for example, Richard, Richard posted 19 hours ago on AI image generation. He's already got a bunch of responses and helpful replies inside here. And also together, and I know, the running the business and the journey of learning AI and the threats of AI, etc., is super tough, super challenging. So what we've created is this community where we can just share our wins together and we can celebrate together. So for example, each week we share our weekly wins, doesn't matter how big or small. All it's about is making sure we have a positive feedback loop where we all feel like we're winning, we're learning, and we're growing together. And that's what the game is about, all right? So feel free to get that link in the description. If you want to make more money, save time with AI, this is the place to do it inside the AI Profit Boardroom. And if you're just like, Julian, I just want you to implement all this MCP stuff for me, or you want us to do everything for you, feel free to book in a free AI strategy session. We can jump on a call with you, tell you exactly what you need to implement, how to implement it, and then if it makes sense for us, we can do it for you. So feel free to book that link in the description.